Now, no Broadway career is complete without disasters, and I've certainly had my share. And uh, I'm not ashamed because, you know, because you learn, right? <laughs> Hello, choices. So many of you may know that, um, or not, that's okay, um, I'll tell you, um, <laughs> that I starred in the Broadway musical Dracula by Frank Wild Fun. Yes, that Frank Wild Fun. <laughs> yeah, the one who had two more hits last Broadway season. <laughs> now I know some of you may have heard me tell this story before, but um, it's worth repeating, I promise. I was home, uh, the kids were out uh, at preschool. Um, I have two three-year-olds and a six-year-old. And I was home this year, uh, just reading Time Out. I had a moment to read a magazine. Trust me, that's really exciting. So I was reading Time Out, and I'm like, oh, this is so relaxing and wonderful, and oh, I'm gonna just catch up on the world and see what is going on in New York. And I'm turning the pages, and I get to page 29. And um, I, I, I saved it for you. <laughs> and I, I was like, oh, uh, live at Barnes & Noble, Dracula the Musical, the studio cast recording, Frank Wilde, Funny Don Black, with James Barber, Kate Schindel, Rob Evan, Norm Lewis, and Jeremy Roberts. And I love all these people, but they were not in Dracula the Musical. <laughs> Do you feel my pain? <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, okay, I look at my email, and there's James Barber writing me an email, it's a friend, and he said, inviting me to this, to the, I'm like, James, oh my God. So at the time, I was, um, I was working at the public theater doing some, um, some concerts to uh, uh, celebrate the release of my CD. And um, my co-star and my friend, Kelly O'Hara, was um, also working at the public theater in the same building, and she was starring in King Lear. Get her. <laughs> Are there any songs in that? <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> I love her. So Kelly comes to my dressing room, and I'm like, hey, Kelly, blah, 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 about everything. And I said, Kelly, did you see Time Out from today? And she's like, this is so many years ago. And I'm like, Kelly, did I? Look. So she, I show her the thing. I'm like, Kelly, and she looks at it. She's like, Oh my god! Oh my! God. She goes, Well, awesome. And then she squinted. So the Kelly O'Hara squint. That is not good. <laughs> so no matter what you have heard uh, about Dracula or seen on YouTube, please don't go home tonight and do that. Nothing could really adequately describe the 154 performances at the Velasco Theater. <laughs> I hate props, but I thought I would bring you an exhibit A. There you go. It's not even my neck. Oh boy. So no matter what you've heard, nothing could describe it, you know, including vocal hemorrhaging. That sounds funny, but it's not. A friend of mine came to the show and he said that when Kelly O'Hara's character died, he was sitting there like, uh-oh, who's going to sing all the Linda Edder numbers? I guess that would be me. Okay, so how am I going to describe for you the top of the second act? I just want to paint the picture for you. So Kelly um, uh, and, and I both have been having strange feelings, um, misty feelings of behaving strangely in the graveyard and whatever. And um, uh, we've been sitting up in bed having these, you know, when you sit up in bed in our show, that's not, that's not a good sign. Uh, your eyes come up like this. So Kelly's been sitting up in bed more than me, so she's, she's Lucy, so she comes up and she's like, so that's bad. So at the top of the second act, she's missing, and we're all looking for her. So there's this big staircase over here, and I'm coming down with all the guys, and I'm in this crazy Victorian thing with that feather, it's beautiful. So we're coming down with our lanterns, but we're very upset, and we're looking for Kelly, and we can't find her anywhere, and we're like, oh my God, and everybody's looking, and we go around the sarcophagus, and she's not back there, and it's just very upsetting, and it's very, very, you know, shadowy and such, and whatever, and then we hear, and that's Kelly, and we turn around, and she's coming down those same stairs, and she looks weird, because she had that beautiful, smooth, blonde hair and everything, and now it's been sort of changed into these snakes, and, uh, and, she, and she has no feet, I mean, she has no shoes on, no feet. Um, she's got, so she's got to, what we do for show business. Um, she comes down, and she's got these, like, glow-in-the-dark contact lenses on, and so she's like, and now she's in King Lear. Um, so she's coming down, and we, we were very, like, horrified. And so Stephen Henderson, who played Van Helsing, he had the Bible, and he starts, he's also not on the studio cast recording. Um, he, he, he went up to her, and he's video, and she's like this. And then Chris Hoke, who's her boyfriend and has a knife and everything, he's also not on the studio cast recording. He comes after her, and he's got the knife, and he's backing her into the sarcophagus. And then the whole company were also upset, but we're watching Chris do his job. Everybody's not on the studio cast album. And then she, he stabs her, and she falls down and she then vomits up all this glow-in-the-dark stuff and she falls back and then she, everything goes away to these deep 
polls, and 1,100 people are staring at me. I'm alone on stage now, and 1,100 people are staring at me to make sense of all of that. <laughs> and I get to sing this beautiful song. And we all have to admit that Frank Wildhorn can write a beautiful song.